Hi, I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, your prayers have been answered because the priest is in the house. Priest Holmes, 27 TDs a year ago. 27. How is it possible? He'll look for even more here. Chiefs, Chargers. It's game time. These fans have been tailgating for hours, and now they are just moments away from what they've been waiting for. Welcome to Qualcomm Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. My accomplice, Peter O'Keefe, is here beside me. And Peter, we've got a bit of a mismatch between these two teams, at least on paper. Well, it certainly looks that way, Dan definitely have a big challenge in front of them to win this game Dan however don't count them out because they're not going down without a fight we'll see if they can pull off this upset today and now let's go down to the coin toss Tails of it. Morton Anderson kicking off for the Chiefs. It's time for Charger football. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Anderson kicks it, and we are underway. Johnson catches it back at the four. Back down at the 23. Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an update for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. It's a windy day out here with the flags whipping around above us. The kickers will definitely have to try to gauge the wind when aiming their kicks. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. The Chargers will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Dwight goes in motion. Tomlinson three gains play. three yards, and that brings up second down. That's the way to let him have it. Second and six. Ball at the Chargers, 26-yard line. Tomlinson gets the call again and maybe well, picks up Tomlinson one on ball the ball play. Ball. Third down, like both tight ends left. Back. It's intercepted. Runs out of bounds at the 39. Holding, number 60, offense. The penalty is declined. The Chiefs are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. Holmes will take the handoff and hands out right. Popped hard at the 35. Second and six. Ball at the 35. Holmes picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Reese Holmes got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner. Stepping up and doing his job. Green rifles it out left side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Dante Hall was open on that last one for short yardage, but came up with nothing. Incomplete pass. That seems to be an odd call, Peter. It fell incomplete, but even if they had caught it, they still would have been short of the first down. I don't like those calls either. Gotta get past the markers on those routes. It'll be fourth down. 
Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. They the take field the lead. Is good. Morton Anderson really gets the whole ball here, and he needs it. Morton Anderson kicking off for the Chiefs. There's the signal, and we're ready. Anderson booms a beauty here. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First and ten, San Diego. The Chargers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Tomlinson will get the carry on first down and Tomlinson gains about three yards. Number 93 with the tackle. Rivers gets all of his arm into this pass and it's complete at the 42. Finally stopped at the 49. It will be first down. Tomlinson picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Sims sacks him back at the 47. Ryan Sims gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. They forced that one backwards, third and that's and going 12. to make this third down Ball that much harder. Yards. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Parker catches it in the flat and... John Barber just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Sifres gets ready to punt this away. Sifres gets the ball and punts it away. McLean fields the punt at the 18. Dexter McLeon is the guy to watch. Eighth-year man out of Clemson, and he's a threat every time he returns one upfield. You better close on him quick, Dan, because if he's got even a little room to run, he'll take it. First and ten. Kansas the Chiefs City. get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Holmes cruises out to the left Free side Holmes. and heads carrier. left. Priest Holmes took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial Second surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Green makes the throw down, after the Chief. play action fake, and it's complete for a first down and a... Johnny Morton has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Peter, it's early in the game. It's the first time they go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Well, Dan, obviously it's a huge boost, but there's still a lot of game left. First and 10. Ball at the 42-yard line. Holmes is at the 30, 15, he's in for the touchdown. Priest Holmes keeps... Morton well, it looks like he broke the 9,000-yard barrier. That's a Number heck of a player. Holding. Here's the point after, the and extra point is good. it's good.
The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Anderson kicks this one away. Johnson fields the kickoff at the three. Breaks a tackle. Tackled at the 24. Leon Johnson tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Chargers offense takes the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 24-yard line. Parker goes in motion. Tomlinson takes it across the line and gains about three yards. Second down, one man back. That's the end of the first And quarter. that'll do it for quarter number one. The Chiefs enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. Second down, two receivers to the left. Tomlinson picks up Tomlinson a yard on the, the play, carrier. and that will bring up Sean third Barber down. With the tackle. Ladanian Tomlinson used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. Third it will be six. third down. Ball at the Chargers, 28-yard line. Ryan Sims made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Sifres lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 22 to make the return. Sifres gets the snap and pummels this one deep. McLean fields the deep punt at the 26. Stopped at the 41. Dexter McLeon returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. First and ten. The Chiefs the come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 41-yard line. Holmes takes it off the toss and heads up field. Brought down at the 48. Priest Holmes has been earning his keep between the tackles, and whenever that happens, you gotta get. Second and three. Ball at the Chiefs, 48 yard line. at the 48. That will bring up yeah, first down. How you like that? First down, first Chiefs. Down. First and 10. Ball at the 48-yard line. Green unloads this to the right sideline and Passes it's incomplete. bobbled and dropped. Incomplete. Tony Gonzalez was the intended Tony receiver. Tony Gonzalez looked like he was all Brendan over Jen that one, but cover. it just got away somehow. Tough oh, incompletion. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Parker grabs the fastball over the middle and he picks up nine. Brent Green threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Holmes carries this one off to the right and gets well past the markers first for a first. Chiefs. 
Priest Holmes sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. how to get it done on the ground. Richardson didn't Passes haul incomplete. that one in, and it falls Tony incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Tony Richardson had some room Number on the fringes there, but the couldn't cover. reel in the pass. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Green fires this one over the middle and First he connects seat. at the 17. Johnny Morton faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down Ten. from the eye. Ball at the 14-yard line. Runs out, Trent and that Green, will stop the, the clock carrier. at 1.15. Trent Green decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. Second and one. Ball at the five. Holmes barrels off touchdown his left guard Chief. and gets the touchdown. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production Morgan for him, Dan. Anderson He's that kind of player. Point. Number 15, holding. Now the point after, and the extra point is it's good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Anderson rockets this one deep. Johnson downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. White makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Tim White makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Rivers just rifles this one and first. The Chargers take their first time out. First down, three wideouts in the game. Wesley Passes hammers incomplete. the receiver and forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete. Receiver. Greg Wesley with the coverage. Yeah, 
Second and ten. Ball at the 47. Rivers throws a beauty to the right side, the and it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. John with the deflection. John Barber came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Ball at the 47. Tomlinson catches it in the flat. Sifres lines up for the punt. Formation. Number 22 to make the return. Sifres takes the long snap and punts it away. McLean fields it all the way back at the 9. Turn of seven yards Runs on out the at the 16. Dexter McLean had no trouble getting a few back after that very disappointing punt. Nice opportunity for this offense. First the Chiefs Kansas come out City. on the field and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at their own 16-yard line. One will Passes fall incomplete, incomplete. with the deflection. Second and ten. Ball at the Chiefs, sixteen yard line. Green throws this one over the middle, and it's complete down, at the Chief. 42. First down, 10 yards. Time the Chiefs call. will talk it over, and they take their second timeout. First down First from the shotgun. Ten. Ball at the Chiefs, 45-yard line. Catches it First over the middle Chiefs. and gets past the Time Chiefs. Take a timeout. That's their final one. First and ten. Ball at the forty one. Green throws a bullet here, and first down, it's complete Chief. for a first down and a whole lot more. Trip, open! Trip, open! Please, please! Go, go, go. And that'll do it for the first the half of this of one. The Chiefs in command of this one, 17 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? And we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Chargers are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Dexter McLeon was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. After driving four yards on three plays, Morton Anderson would get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would in fact deliver, connect on the field goal. Chargers still midway through the first quarter, Wolves back by three. Phillip Rivers connected with his man on this one. 
the Chiefs end of the first quarter. Priest Holmes finds some running room on this one. Then it was off to the races. A 42-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. Chiefs winning 10 to nothing. Priest Holmes got the carry here and he was able to break through. A five-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. The Chiefs move ahead big and now lead by 17. Chargers still late in the second quarter. Tim Dwight, good night, had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. The Chiefs late into the second quarter. Chiefs ahead by 17. Trent Green would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bolts are down at the half, 17 to nothing. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Priest Holmes has been unstoppable. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Chiefs will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are Number dominating 10, this game. The Currently, they are up large, 17 to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Johnson fields the second half kickoff at the one. The ball's loose. The Chargers have it. Tackle at the 18. 18. Drayton Florence didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. The Chargers had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the 18-yard line. Dwight goes in motion. Rivers throws a lob here, and it's knocked Passes away from the three. receiver incomplete. Number 84. Phillip Just Rivers is really receiver. rolling the dice there by Number throwing into double coverage. coverage. You know, they might have picked him off there. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really second not going to hurt 10. you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Parker catches it left side line and is well past the markers for a first down. Phillip Rivers throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, and they line up with three tight ends. Got good running potential out here, Dan. Let's see how they use their backs. Browning gets the sack the at sack. the seven. John Browning got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second and goal. Ball at the seventh. Tomlinson gets his seventh carry of the game and Ladanian Tomlinson only gets carrier. back to the line of scrimmage. Ryan Sims with the tackle. Third and goal. Ball at the seventh. Sims gets the sack way back at the 12. That will bring up fourth and goal. Number fourth down, goal to go. Number seven, Holden. Keating from 29 yards out and... It's through the uprights. Nate Keating has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. There's the signal, and we're ready. Keating kicks it off. Johnson fields it at the 11. Drag down at the 32. Peter, it looks like the playoff race is shaping up. Well, it sure is, Dan.
First and ten. The Kansas Chiefs City. send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Holmes has his number called on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Priest Holmes used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the Chiefs, 33-yard line. Green rifles it out left side, and the First reception's down, made at the 40. Hunted down at the 49. That will bring up first down. Tony Gonzalez has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. First and that 10. sounds pretty good. A nice run oh, after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. Holmes carries it for the Three ninth Holmes, time the and carrier. searches for a hole. Tony Edwards. Stopped the at the 45. Priest Holmes has taken it to the offense, sure enough, but you have to credit him for that huge run he broke off earlier. Real dangerous as soon as he gets past the line. I love Second and three. Ball at the 45. three yards and that brings up third down Donnie Edwards brought down the ball carrier before the markers there was some gain there but not enough for the first that's his third tackle of the game third down and less than a yard Holmes carries it for a third time in a row and picks up the first down Priest Holmes down was assisted Chiefs. on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect and call ten. for the situation, Dan. No Ball trouble in getting the first. Green throws this on a rope, and the Tony completion Gonzalez is good complete. for six. Trent Green rolled the dice by targeting a receiver with two defenders near him. But the pass clicked and they'll move the ball. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. Second and four. Ball at the 32-yard line. the 39. Terrence Keel got the sack, but he was totally unblocked. You need to at least lay a hand on someone to slow him down a bit. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Chiefs enjoying the lead 17-3. Third down. Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Green throws the pass, and the catch is made at the 14. Touchdown. And he's in for the touchdown. Dante Hall is going to make a great play right here snags the football and then really turns on the juice he gets the touchdown peter and that was a very nice play definitely 
Morton Anderson to attempt the extra point. Number 15, holding. Now the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Anderson kicks it off. Johnson fields the kickoff at the one. Gets out at the 22. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of efficiency there. When they do score, you can see that it's the field goal variety. They need to punch it in if they want a shot. Leon Johnson's got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Chargers offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 22-yard line. This pass will pass fall harmlessly to the ground, Look and it's up. incomplete. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo. I'll tell you, yeah, baby, yeah. Phillip Rivers has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these... Second and ten. Ball at the Chargers, 22-yard line. Rivers zips it to the left sideline and pass it's incomplete. tipped incomplete. Jerome Woods, Jerome Woods knocked that pass down and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Third and ten. Ball at the Chargers, 22 yard line. Tomlinson catches it in the flat, and Ladanian he's well Tomlinson short of the markers. Complete. Fourth down Number coming 51 up. with the tackle. They're going to try to convert on fourth, fourth and, and long, ten. and with that field position, you have to wonder what they're trying to prove. Rivers throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on down. Greg Wesley is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down. It's worth another look. Oh, huge tackle, huge play. That was some aggressive play calling that deep in their own territory, and it may have cost them dearly. I just don't see how they were in four down mode there, especially at their end of the football field. That's a bad call. The Chiefs offense takes the field and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 23 yard line. Holmes gains eight yards and that brings up second down. Priest Holmes took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and two. Ball at the 15. Runs out of bounds at the 11. First down. Trent Green first down, got the Chief. first down and then got out of bounds. Nice run. All right, all right, all right. First down, and two wide outs on the field. The 11. Pushed out Trent at the Green, six. The ball carrier. Number 48 with the push out of bounds. Second and five. Ball at the six yard line. The left chases him down and gets the sack at the eight. Otis Leverand dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. That'll be his first sack of the game. Philip hunts him down 
sack. And he gets the sack way. Sean Phillips next to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Green throws this to the end zone, and... It falls incomplete. Is incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Tony Morton was the intended receiver. Quinton Jammer with the cover. <laughs> the Chargers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 14-yard line. Tomlinson didn't Passes haul that one in, and it falls Ladanian incomplete. But Danian Tomlinson was open as you can Number get on that play, but couldn't make the grab. What a shame. Second that falls 10. incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Rivers uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Roughing the passer, number 90, defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Ryan Sims rocked the quarterback's cradle after the ball left his hand, so he drew the flag for roughing the passer. They're going to call that one every time. First down with a split backfield. Ball at the Chargers, 29-yard line. This one will Passes fall incomplete. incomplete. Lorenzo uh, Neal had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that often. No, he's more of a runner than a target out of the backfield. Rivers rifles it out left side, and the ball's loose. And he stopped right there. Jerome Woods delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for the fumble. Great hard-nosed defensive play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Chiefs want to capitalize on the fumble and will start this drive at the 39-yard line. the 18. It will be first down. Trent Green has to resort to plan B on this play. That's why he gets the big bucks, Dan. He makes it happen no matter what. Oh, yeah, that scramble got him a nice gain. You can't coach that. that that's just instinct. First, First down from the eye. Ball at the 18 yard line. Green throws a heater, and the First reception's down, made at the six. And he stopped right there. It'll be first and goal. Brent Green gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 240 yards and one touchdown. First down, goal to go. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. With the deflection. 
Nothing. Oh yeah, keep it up, D. Keep it up. Second down. Second the clock is stopped at 1:55. Green hopes this to the end zone and it's intercepted. One man to beat. Chargers. Dragged down at the 17. Trent Green gets popped out of the pocket and starts improvised. The Chargers will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.48. Wesley puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 22 with the coverage. Let's stick to the plan. Second and 10. Ball at the Chargers, 17 yard line. Rivers throws a heater right sideline and it's Passes tipped incomplete. incomplete. Number 22 with the deflection. Yeah, yeah, Philip yeah, Rivers yeah. has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I Third and Third ten. down and four wideouts in the Ball game. The Chargers, 17 yard line. McLean makes a play on this and forces the Number incompletion. Fourth the down coming up. Dexter McLean got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Oh, you guys might as well just Fourth kick and it right now. You ain't giving up nothing. Ball at the Chargers, 17 yard line. The Chargers take their first time out. First down, one man back. No good, Passes incomplete. incomplete. Kevin Dyson Kevin had that Dyson one come right to him receiver. back there. You have to catch those Eric passes, Warfield baby. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Second down. Second the clock is stopped at 126. 28-yard line. Rivers passes this one after the play action, passes and incomplete. it falls incomplete. Tim Dwight, Tim Dwight had that ball receiver. in his hands on that play, and then Number he just dropped it. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third down, 10 yards to go. The Chargers, 28-yard line. Intercepted. Right down at the Jeez. 39. Philip Rivers is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. That's his second interception throw today, and he has looked ragged at some points, I'll tell you. Yeah, his timing's a little off. He needs to just settle it down. The Chiefs' offense is on the field, and they can wrap up the game. They'll start at the 39-yard line. Green throws it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Kwame Lasseter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball second of the game. Yeah, great read there. The second down from the shotgun. Tennyson didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Pass interference, number 51, defense. 
The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Man handled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First down, the clock is stopped at 109. Green fires this one over the middle and the catch. It. The Chargers will take a timeout. That's their second. Second, Second down six. and four wideouts in the game. Tennyson, the Chargers take a timeout. That's their final one. Holmes gets the call on third down and gets the first down. The clock continues to run. First down, Chiefs. Priest Holmes played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. first well, as you can see, up over the 100-yard mark, just another day in the office. First Runs down, out, and that will stop the clock at 20. It'll be first and goal. Brent Green had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth another look. If it wasn't for that scramble, he would have been toast. First down, the First clock is goal. stopped at 20. Ball at the four yard Round line. or air threat here. Let's see what they do, Dan. <laughs> Tackled, and the clock Trent will Green. continue. Time the Chiefs ball. take their first time out. Second and goal. Ball at the one. Touchdown, Touchdown. Chiefs. Man, so I that man. I put my head right back my head. Well, this is a nice run, Dan. Gets all the yards he needs. Not a huge quantity of yardage, but definitely some quality yardage, Peter. Absolutely. Great play. That touchdown will seal it, Peter. Well, barring some type of miracle, they are going to come away with this one. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Anderson rockets this one deep. Johnson decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 20. Leon Johnson got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Chargers will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at seven. Rivers throws a bullet and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Wow, look at that. He's up over 3,000 passing yards. Great work so far. And that is going to do it for this one. The Chiefs come out on top 31 to three. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.
All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games Post Game Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Chiefs stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Phillip Rivers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Chargers closed the gap some. They're down by 14. The Chiefs come right back. Ball at the 40-yard line. Trent Green is back to throw. And look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. A 39-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. The Bolt after his stop on fourth down. Bolt's trailing by 21. Sean Barber comes up big here as this falls out. And he's in the right spot for the recovery. The Chiefs in control after a fumble recovery. Steve Foley is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Chiefs leading 24 to three. Greg Wesley would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Chiefs, after getting an interception, the Chiefs inside the red zone. Trent Green got the carry here and he comes through. A one yard touchdown for the Chiefs. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs serve up a blowout, 31 to three. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our player of the game award. Trent Green is down on the field with Susie Colbert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under pressure today, and you prevailed with a big victory. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? I think you got to give credit to all these defensive backs that they're out there smothering the receivers and providing good run support. This is really a good game for them. Back to you, Chris. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Panthers squeeze out a four-point victory. The Titans lost this one, but will stay at number three in the AFC South. Andre Johnson had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. David Terrell will be playing his football elsewhere, though perhaps not for as much as he would have liked. Four years, $3.0 million. Vaughn Hutchins is on the move, perhaps not for all that he thought he'd get, but a good deal nonetheless. Four years, $1.7 million. Chris, Billy Joe McAllister was amazing on defense and helped his Ravens beat the Dolphins. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Kevin Carter might be the biggest loss on this list. The team doctors have reported a pulled hamstring, and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Donald Driver is probably the one that most leaps out at you. He'll be out for the rest of the season. On to the serious news of the week. Dennis Northcutt will miss the remainder of the year. And this is a big blow to this passing game because he was obviously a main target. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Zach Thomas is gonna find himself in street clothes for the time being, and that'll be a major blow to this club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. 49ers, Patriots. Bethel Johnson is ready at the 31 yard line. Play gets underway, close coverage, Oh, now with a beautiful move, gets open, and it's a six spot. The Patriots win this one by the final score of 14 to 7. In the Mile High City of Denver, we had the Broncos edge their way to a narrow three-point win. 
In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we have the Giants win their 10th game of the season. Down in Tempe, Arizona, we had the Cardinals get sent home with a 14-point loss. The Vikings had over 100 return yards in their victory at Raljan, Maryland. The Seahawks won at home and finished their season by giving the crowd something to cheer about. Jets, Rams. Arlen Harris set to receive the kick, and it's a good kick. Gets it at his own eight-yard line. Just wants some breathing room for the offense. Makes a move there. Oh, what a crack back block at the 40. What a move at the other 40. This is picture perfect. He could go all the way for a 92-yard score. The Rams go on to win this by the final score of 34 to 27. The Bills won this contest, but will stay at the second place in the AFC East. Mike McKenzie stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Priest Holmes rushed for two touchdowns and helped his Chiefs beat the Chargers. In the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, we had the Eagles stroll away with a 14-point win. And last but not least, we had the Raiders come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. All right, folks, our playoff picture has now been officially finalized. So let's take a look at it now, shall we? We'll begin with a look at the AFC. And now, checking things out over in the NFC playoff race. So there you have it, the regular season now in the books. Time to see which of these 12 teams will emerge as Super Bowl champs. We'll get it started for you on ESPN next weekend. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. And then there were 12, the playoffs, right around the corner, which means it's time for our regular season awards. But first, my primetime players. The final round of game balls go to these Warriors, each with a standout performance in the final game of the regular season. All right, as promised, here's a look at this year's best of the best, our season-ending NFL awards. Priest Holmes, without a doubt, is going to take home the hardware in this one. You see the numbers on your screen, but numbers really don't tell the whole story. Leadership, work ethic, love of the game, that's what truly makes him stand out. He had, without question, the best year of anyone. Dante Culpepper, who has got to be our choice for Offensive Player of the Year, and you've got to be hard-pressed to find better numbers than that. Obviously, give a lot of credit to the rest of the offense, but this is the guy that was driving the car, so to speak. Ray Lewis gets the nod as our Defensive Player of the Year. I think when you look at this award, you think of guys that can really excel against either the run or the pass, but this guy can do both. What a year he had. Ben Roethlisberger comes away with the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. You know, it's very difficult to come straight from college. He handed the keys to an NFL offense, but he stepped in and did a bang-up job. Watch out. He's only going to get better with age. Carlos Dansby was our Defensive Rookie of the Year. Hard to think of any young linebacker with better instincts for the football than he has. He wins it in a landslide. Priest Holmes ran away with the rushing title this year. Talk about a threat out of the backfield, my friends. Finesse, speed, a surprising amount of power, which he used to bowl over the few who actually managed to lay a finger on him. What a year. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.